guys. All right, so I'm going to pull from the sacred signs and symbols to get some energy for you, from you, as I look out the window at the mountains and all the pretty stuff. Gavel, final, final decision. There's a lot of stuff going on, which spell work and black magic. Whoa, here we go. The gavel, it's in the reverse, kind of, sort of. Um, it says final uh, judgment day and final decision. So somebody is running out of time. You haven't made the decision yet. Spiders, web of lies caught in a sticky situation. That is what's happening today. Let me change the color of my light. That's what's happening today. You know, you are making a decision in regards to the past. Web of lies caught in a sticky situation, um, which made you tie down, restricted, and set boundaries. So that is where we are. The witch is at the bottom of the deck. And then we have fairy. Wishes fulfilled, dreams, and innocence. The innocence of a child. The innocence of wanting to see somebody be um, authentic and loving towards you. Um, but there's karmic lessons here. You know, bookshelf. There's karmic lessons that you are facing when it comes to dealing with this person, place, thing, or situation. Which is making you have to make a decision. Now, do I pull from the situation deck or the archetype deck? Let's pull from the archetype deck to see the type of person that you have been dealing with or, you know, situation you have been dealing with. Because it may be a person, place, thing, or a situation. It does not necessarily have to be love. It does not have to be uh, romance. It, it could be a job. It could be, you know, family. It could be friends. It could be a lot of things. It doesn't necessarily have to be love. But you're in the process I'm not taking those. You're in the process of making a decision. You're deciding on how you want to make a decision, but there's a lot of lies. Yeah, see, the cards came out exactly the same, same way. The achiever. This person may be achieving things, but they think that you're just a wallflower. You think you're, They think you're supposed to sit there and be pretty and not make decisions on your own, but that is uh, why they have a rude awakening coming. The web of lies caught in a sticky situation. Um, yeah, this person is achieving things, and therefore... Yeah, a uh, higher self and Aquarius. Now, did this not come out in the last read? The Aquarius came out, but was it with the higher self? I forget what it was, but you know, you're Aquarius in reverse. Let's just talk about that. The um, what card is the Aquarius? I want to say the um, now I gotta look and see what is the Aquarius energy. Damn it, why do I know this? Oh, the star energy is Aquarius, but that's in reverse. Higher self, you're not even looking at this from a higher perspective because you've already used your energy when it came to this. So the star in reverse is, where is the star in reverse? It is discouraged and uh, insecurity. So you're very insecure, and that's the reason why you can't even see this from a higher perspective because this person is making you choose. They think that you're not the achiever and you are just a wildfire, that you're just pretty, and that's it, you know, and they have a rude awakening because once you get into that situation where somebody makes you feel restricted, tied down, and just, like, have to make a decision, normally it's out of anger and it's out of disrespect, you know, cancer. It's out of disrespect, and when cancer feels disrespected, then this, the, the roles reverse. It's changing. Now, you know, you're going from zero to 100 and making your decisions, and it's cold, ice cold. That should have been... Our middle names. Anyway, leather belt tie restricted. Yeah, again, same energy comes out. This person feels like they don't have to listen to anybody or they don't have they don't have to have any boundaries when it comes to what they want to do. And that's why you're in the situation, you know, which is fulfilled dreams and innocence. The innocence of the pure love that you have for a person all can be thrown out of the window in one day when somebody feels like they are playing with your intuition and that you don't have it, that you are not a high priestess energy. Scorpio in reverse is a death energy in reverse, right? So the death energy in reverse is, you know, makes you feel grief or like you're stagnant and being put on hold. They don't understand who you are when they think that, you know, you are not a player. Yeah, you have been, you know what I'm saying? Or you don't play games. That's the whole point. I don't play games when it comes to this energy. You know, when you feel like you're messing up my innocence and the things that I want to be, well, then here's the sage. You think you know everything and that's not the case. All those scars that you have, I'll make them harder, you know, or I'll make them, I'll make you feel the pain. I'll make you feel what real pain is because I will remove my energy as if I never knew you. Not physically, 
mentally remove my energy from you and that will be your karmic lesson when it comes to this person does that make sense you know and that's just yeah because when you start to feel numb or unsure the karmic lesson is going to start to happen with the universe. Yeah, there's no more communication. You know, they can do all the magic or whatever they want. If they don't see the beauty in you, air energy comes out and know that you are a goddess and not a toxic person, but a queen. Yeah, Sagittarius and Medusa. But you can be as cold as Medusa once you feel like somebody is wounding you. You know, Sagittarius energy. What is the Sagittarius? Sagittarius is the temperance energy. You feel like you got to balance the scales on your own. Then you know what Medusa, she's cold. She's very cold. And you know, she, she, she's like, no, I won't allow this to happen. Does that make sense? That's just kind of how I see this energy. Now these are different cards, but same energy. This is when you feel like this person is really trying to restrict you. This is probably your feelings. If this is past energy, present or, you know, energy that you're about to give them, muster up because the karmic lesson has to be learned, but it's not in regards to you, you know, turning somebody to stone. It's about in regards to you learning how to remove your energy. That's what it is. You are removing your energy from the things that no longer serve you. Why will you do that? Let's look at the situation deck. You know, I just feel like, you know, when it comes to you trying to make this decision, you know, it's like, to me, it's like the Hulk. You know, the Hulk. That's my, my mom told me that. Um, no, my mom said I was like the Tasmanian devil. Um, but it's like the Hulk. But when I was younger, it was bad. So it's like the Hulk. You know, you can be pretty and nice and normal and achieve all the goals. But when you have to make a decision in regards to your heart, you know, yeah, it's a triggering type of energy. And then you don't want to discuss this. It has nothing to do with anything else. None of this stuff makes a difference anymore. None of this stuff, everything that you that that you were a part of that attracted you to this person, it makes no difference and you have no understanding and you don't want to communicate. You just totally close yourself off to the world. And therefore, with the spider, the, this web of lies caught in a sticky situation, not being able to be in your higher self and be with the star in reverse feeling stagnant, you know, feeling feeling like as if, you know, with the star in reverse insecure and like you lost faith and felt discouraged, you know, when you start to feel that way, then yeah, the past does not matter anymore. And there's no room for talking, no room to get on the same page there that that's different now. And so this person may see that. They may see that with you. The interviews are, or the talking is like, no, it's not there. Now I got to set strict boundaries because now you think that you were untouchable, that you could not talk to me when I wanted to talk because you were the end all be all into everybody else's life. And you were that in my life, but it was out of respect and out of love for you because I seen the beauty and the true potential in you. Yeah, there is paperwork right here. This came out last time. The money strings. You guys see me shuffle these, right? The entrapment. You're not going to trap me. You're not going to tell me about a pregnancy. You're not going to tell me about your heartstrings or how you feel and about money. And that's the reason why you feel like you do this because of the money. You know, it's like, no, forget the court work. Forget the court. Forget the paperwork. I don't have nothing to say. And I think that's just where you are at this point or what where you were when you were going through this, you know, or, you know, maybe it's going to get to this point. Fairy uh, wishes fulfilled dream innocence. Somebody doesn't really see how your intuition is and the true uh, high priestess energy are Scorpio in reverse, which is the death in reverse is see how much grief and how how somebody how you can cause grief or a person can cause you grief and feel make you feel stagnant. And make you feel like, you know, you holding on to something that's not going to work because they feel like that you can't play games too. It's not the truth. You play games and your games is just like, oh, you never existed to me. That just depends on where you are and how you feel and how you are emotionally and, you know, understand when you haven't learned the lessons of people and why they come in your life. You know, you looked at their scars as beautiful, but you don't see that anymore. You don't see anything that this person is doing is uh, is is right besides they're playing games with you. Yeah, because now this is when you get to the point where you ghost, you block, and you cut off these people. Does that make sense? The karmic shelf, uh, the, excuse me, the bookshelf and the karmic lesson because you felt numb. You had to teach this person a lesson, you know, and this person is trying to search for you. This person was petty, envious, and, jo and jealous, and gossiping about you, but you stay tuned in. 
you know you stay tuned in they had to get tuned into who you are you let them you allowed them access to your life because you know and that's why they're looking at you on the internet you allowed them access to your life because you wanted them in, in your life you know the gossip and all this other stuff you don't deal with stuff like that and so that's where this person is like who is this lady or man that i'm dealing with who is this cancer they're so uh yeah so much of a drama queen is what they're calls calling you because they feel like you're causing chaos you're not you're just removing your energy you're not petty you're not jealous you're not envious you're just removing your energy you know you're removing your energy because you know what you felt like was a forbidden love that you loved everything about you know time is running out and that's why you're making the decision you haven't made the decision you're about to make the decision or you have been through this in making the decision does that make sense so now i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna pull from regular tarot i'm not gonna pull hmm maybe i will no i'm not i'm gonna hold on let me think about this let me think about how i'm gonna do this i was saying i was gonna pull regular tarot but um thinking about pulling from what's the tea i haven't used that in the last week so i'll pull from what's the tea when it comes to the triggers and then per this person trying to you know get under your skin or getting under your skin because yeah someone is crying but you're not the one crying so now this person is crying over you removing your energy or they want to they can't they can't access you anymore the spider caught in a web of lies comes with a yeah a toxic connection now this is a toxic connection it says the their relationship involves constant fighting on thin ice with each other uh, but trying to maintain the relationship. So that's what you were doing with them, but now you're over it because it came in reverse. The leather belt, tied down, restricted, comes with a mental prison. Yeah, someone is trapped in their head, may suffer from mental illness, self-limiting beliefs. So that is where they are because they're trapped. You remove your situation. You don't even want to discuss anything because they they probably are trying to come to you and say, well, what about, you know you know me going to happen to go to court because we're going to separate and it's like go ahead do what you got to do you don't want to talk about it now you know maybe later on down the line you might want to talk about it or maybe you did down the line or something about this but it's telling you that this person shattered your dreams you know and you blocked and cut them off you know this is the first you know or could be the last stages of this situation you know the hater yeah lost blocked off cut off wants to knock you down a size a person that simply cannot be happy for your success points out your flaws and makes them feel makes themselves feel better because this is all the things that they made you feel less le lack of you know intuition in reverse verse chrome in reverse the death energy in reverse player in reverse and sage they made you feel less than and that you felt like that was a hater wants the one you're with i don't think necessarily that they're jealous they just don't understand who you're, you're they don't really see the true potential you know they don't really see your true potential until you actually removed it from them you know the numb access granted plugged uh gossip bookshelf karmic lesson you know you're numb and so you're blocking them you know i'll take these but not yeah, maybe i will all right so the bottom of the deck is fake someone who isn't themselves to gain someone who isn't themselves to gain friends and popularity they seem very nice to everyone yet trash talk them behind their back in order to improve their social status see that's where the famous comes in at because they call you a drama queen but they're fake because again they'll do anything for fame you won't all right so we have the karmic lesson fake friends pretends to be buddy buddy when you come around but talk smack about you when you leave maybe that's where the gossip is or maybe this because again i said to you that this could be in regards to a a romance a friendship or whatever but take what resonates pretends to be buddy buddy the gossip the pity and the envious uh energy you know when makes you feel numb there's evidence of this situation this person was talking about you hidden agendas pay attention to the person because they have other plans than the ones they've revealed so now you're seeing truth so again maybe this is in regards to a friend this does not have to be in regards to a loved one a lover this could be in regards to a friend family member or a person at work you know uh fifth house and twelfth house one's hobbies entrance recreational and leisure activities what one does for entertainment well this here is somebody is talking about you and that's where the karmic lesson is coming in at 12th house hidden truths yeah hidden truths secrets dreams one has hidden strengths and weaknesses and unconscious 
uh, and karma. So this is what they're experiencing now because, again, this is in regards to a friendship, I feel. This may be a relationship, but somebody who you who you thought was a friend, it was lies. Somebody has been gossiping about you. And that's the reason why they're receiving the karmic lesson that they are because they don't re realize that you are not this person. You want everybody to be happy and this person coming in is not happy for you. Something about how you move, something about how you do things is making you make a decision to walk away from a person. You know, and like I said, this does not have to be a lover. It could have been, you know, that all of these things that people thought doubted you about. And that's probably about what it is. Somebody doubt, doubted your dreams that you were living or wanted to be. You were telling them I'm intuitive. You were telling them this. Not even telling them people. You were showing them different. And therefore, they turned around and they started talking about you. Well, you know, cancer feels this way. So, you know, cancer feels like this is going on with her relationship. So listen, watch the people you tell your information to. Watch the people you tell your relationship is issues about and your family life about and just things in general. Because this same person could be taking that energy and telling and talking about people. And, you know, cancer listens to tarot because she says that her love is going to come back and cancer is crazy cancer needs to get out there all this stuff that you have probably heard before you know but just kind of brushed it off now you're not playing games with this person so now people are upset because you're removing your energy you're changing the way you do things you don't care about the legal aspects of things anymore you don't care about this person and what they went through you don't care about if they were pregnant you don't care about the money the heartstrings it could be you know the jealous when it says they want the one you're with so when you tell them you know oh this is that and this is that way you be careful about that you know you don't know how people feel about what they're you know the hate that people have in their heart no everybody isn't like that but for the most point this is what this read is for so if you have a toxic friend that you've been dealing with and that you understand that you know they give you that side eye and they say must be nice you better think about it all right so i'm gonna pull tarot for the achiever the gavel yeah page of wands energy okay so the page of wands is letting you know that yesterday is history tomorrow's a mystery the only thing that's real is the present moment so enjoy it this person is letting you know i mean this person has let you see that the past is uh that the past they're holding on to the way that you were before you started to get in your, your healing bag, they want you to keep holding on to that. And so the universe is telling you yesterday is history, meaning that sometimes you got to let go of the past and the people in it, right? Tomorrow's a mystery. You don't know what's going to happen tomorrow or the next day after that. The only thing that's real is the present moment, and that's this karmic energy. But you let this person make this get this karmic lesson, the karmic lesson that they have. Don't worry about them being fake and, you know, either being a drama queen or calling you that. This person is wounded. This person is wounded, and the, hurt people hurt people. Always remember that. Hurt people hurt people. And somebody may not like you. You might think that, you know, you are, you don't have as much as this other person, but they're still envious and jealous of you. So I just feel like this is a fake friend, you know, caught in a web of lies, sticky situation, a toxic connection, you know, the past. They're holding on to the past of how you were when you were in the past. So they're having conversations and, you know, they're asking you all these questions with the interview. Yeah, this is a fake friend. They're asking you all these questions about how you feel and, you know, they're, they're down in your higher self, Aquarius in reverse energy. Like I said, star in reverse, trying to uh, find your insecurities and, you know, discourage you from going after what they feel like, you know, is wrong on your part or on their part, you know? But like I say, a real friend, a real friend would not knock you down. A real friend, friend would be there no matter what, but be careful who you tell your situations to. So web of lies, spider, sticky situations. Sorry, my, my computer came on. I just clicked it. Sticky situations. You have to understand that the universe is letting you know about the toxic connections that you are around. And that's why they're getting to see. Yeah. So anyway, Ace of Wands energy is courage, desire, and positive energy. You need to be around people who, uh, who, uh, who, who encourage you not discourage you, you know, uh, and that's the, that's the whole thing, you know, the people that's going to have you going after your desires and being courageous about things and being positive. And that's what the universe is saying. New friends. It's time to get a new set of friends. You know, this is happiness. This is offspring and this is gratitude, but this is new friends. The three of cups energy says true friendship between kindred souls is the greatest gift you can have. 
seek out your tribe and this is not your tribe and that's the reason why the universe is letting you know that um restricted tied down and boundaries somebody feeling like they're in a mental prison tied down entrapment is the same pretty much energy when it comes to dealing with this person who wants to be insta famous you know that's just how i see it this person who wants to be insta famous and yet still you don't have to do as much as them and you still are receiving attention from everyone else if that makes sense so i just feel like that's the energy when it comes to dealing with this person who you felt like was a friend you know and so the mental prisons yeah because you've been working on yourself and you're the queen of cups you know the queen of cups uh is be someone who makes everyone feel important look them through their eyes and make them feel understood this person cannot understand how you may go through so much stuff but yet and still you come out on top winning because you work on your your spiritual side you know whether you know it or not you know you're working on things in order for you to get through uh and go after your dreams little by little but it always is knocked down because of the energies that you surround yourself with the wounded people the people who don't want to see you happy you know jealous a hater you know people with that energy that you know wants to you know knock you out of your position and yet and still yeah the knight of wands energy being in reverse the knight of wands energy in reverse is arguments anger and impatience you know you've reached your limit with trying to make this person see where their bullshit is at you know this is a friend you know this is somebody where you're like you know no that's not right you shouldn't you shouldn't say those things you know must be nice what do you mean by what must be nice you know like it should be good that you should be happy for me whatever accomplishment whatever i accomplish you know like a hater wants to knock you down to size a person that simply cannot be happy for your success points out the flaws that makes them better must be nice you know how they say the people who you know can't understand how you've been successful even because you guys came from the same spot you guys have to understand those are people those are karmic lessons that's teaching you you know you're juggling how to do things but the universe is saying take a leap and leave this person alone um the two of pinnacles energy says let me read it to you it says the key to balance multiple priorities is the ability to be flexible and go with the flow. This is not a part of the flow. This is not a part of the flow. This is you juggling the priorities that with, uh, you know, and adapting to certain situations. But no, it's time for you to walk away and take a leap, the full energy, you know, and that's where you have to come out to see the fairy wishes fulfilled dreams and innocence because the full energy says look upon the the uh, world with the wide eye innocence and an open heart of a child be positive and welcome the adventure before you you have to take it a, a take a leap and let go of even childhood friends sometimes they can't go with you you know yeah because you've reached your plateau and this peop these people persons places things however you say make your burdens heavier they make your burdens heavier you know they cause you anxiety. They cause you stress and feel hopelessness. Nobody goes with the things that you want to do. And you've reached a plateau when you're disconnected from the people that surround you. The people who you feel at the end of the day are wounded. Wounded more than you are. You know, like that have so much negativity that they're fake. You know, and you notice based upon things that they say, you know, that they're fake and they're toxic. So these are people. Watch the company that you keep. You know, watch the company that you keep and the person you tell your business to, you know, because again, at the end of the day, you're going to have to make the decision because here's the thing with everything that cancer is going through with healing and mending and mending relationships and, and thinking about uh, reconciliations with, you know, their, the lover who could have stepped out on them. This person is not going to be happy for you. You know, this person won't be happy for you. So what you need to do is understand, you know, that there's decisions to be made and i can't tell you who this if this is not for you it's not for you but if it is you know the fake friends and the fake energy comes out with this person being a hater you know so watch the company you keep you know and that's just how i say this person is fake they're fake and they're a hater whoever you got around and whoever you're telling your business to they're fake they're wounded hurt people hurt people so if you come back and have this fairy tale romance look if you have this fairy tale romance, you know, with the person that you have been at odds with, you manifest the change. And that's the thing. People can't understand. You know, you manifest the change when you have clarity and you know the direction that you need to go into, you know, and when you're patient, it happens. Look at that. The lover's energy is here. 
it happens. So you be careful who you tell your business to, you know, because the fake haters and the, 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 um, you know, people in the triggers, you know, people can't understand how is it that cancer keeps making it, you know, how cancer keeps being happy, how cancer can create and manifest because you do things with love. That's why you've reached a plateau with this person. Your burdens are too heavy with this person. Nothing about this person is helping you because they're wounded and they're toxic. It says it so many times out here. I love you guys. I'm going to go ahead and leave it at this. Stay away from fake people and watch who you tell your business to. I love you guys.